Hey everyone, welcome to my channel Ecobyte Insights where we make economics simple and fun. I am Omi Akhtar Jui, an undergraduate student of economics department of Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology. So join me as we explore official reserve, official reserve transactions and their importance together in an easy and enjoyable way. Let's explore with official reserve. Official reserves are the cornerstone of a country's financial arnesal, encompassing foreign currency holding, gold reserve, special drawing rates, and the reserve position in the IMF. Let's illustrate this with an example. Suppose country A holds 100 billion US dollar in foreign currencies, 20 billion US dollars in gold reserves, 10 billion US dollars in SDRs, and has a reserve position of 30 billion US dollar in the IMF. So, can you tell me how much official reserves the country has? Well, that will be 160 billion US dollar, the total of all kind of reserves. Okay, let's explore the key components of official reserves. The first component is foreign currency holdings. It's the primary reserves held by a country's central bank, such as US dollar, euro, yen, or pound. Second one is gold reserves. We know gold reserve act as a hedge against economic uncertainty. They used to be a significant part of official reserves, but they are not as actively utilized today. Let's move to a very important component, SDRs, which is special drawing rates. So viewers, please focus into it. SDRs are essentially an international reserve assets established by the IMF to supplement the official reserves of its member countries. Consider SGRs as a form of a basket currency comprised of a blend of major international currencies such as the US dollar, Euro, British pound, Yen, etc. Let's elaborate using an example. Imagine that country A is allocated 100 million SGRs by the IMF. These allocations can be linked to receiving a form of reserve credit that can be exchanged for usable currencies or used to settle international transactions. If one SDR is equivalent to, for example, 1.40 US dollar, then country is allocation of 100 million SDRs holds a value of approximately 140 US dollar, 140 million US million US dollar in currency terms. Well, the country can use or utilize its allocated SDRs by converting them into a usable currencies for any kind of needs. Now, let's move to the reserve position in the IMF. Reserve position in the IMF represents a country's reserve assets in the IMF and its ability to access other member countries' currencies. Well, now understanding what what influences the fluctuations in official reserves is crucial. Let's explore this. Both inflow, which means money coming in, and outflow, which means money going out, directly impact the country's official reserve. When there is an inflow of capital, let's say export has been increased, or the country experienced an inflow of $10 billion foreign direct investment, what will happen? then the official reserve of the country will increase, which will be indicated as positive sign. Conversely, an outflow like $10 billion used for international debt repayments, it negatively affects the official reserves. Now, let's shift our focus to the next level. Let's explore official reserve transactions. Well, official reserve transactions are referred to the buying or selling of assets within a country's official reserves managed by its central bank. They are meticulously conducted to regulate and maintain the composition and level of a country's resources, ensuring financial stability. These transactions are essentially movement of assets within the reserves, which are recorded on paper showing the changes in a country's financial standing. So, when a country's balance of payment, shortly BOP, faces a surplus, the central bank may sell a portion of its reserves to, the, to balance the surplus, indicating by a negative sign. 
Conversely, during a BOP deficit, the central bank may replenish the reserves through inflows marked by a positive sign, and this central bank ensures the equilibrium in BOP. Now let me clear this through an easy example. In the example, on all transactions are in US billion dollar. Now, if we see through the example, there is export of 1,35,547 and the import is 2,7203, which is clearly greater than the export. So we have a negative trade balance. So the beauty is negative 71,606. Let's, let's consider the total of invisible and unilateral items have a balance of 57,231. So by summing up this account, we find negative current account balance, which is minus 14,375. Now let's consider we have a positive capital account balance, which is 25,358. And we took the and omission as negative balance 409. So if we sum up this current account, capital account and error and omissions, we can find the overall BOP balance. So we here we can see the overall BOP balance is positive 10,574, which indicates a surplus. But the target is to make the BOP balance equal to zero. That's why we need the equal amount of negative balance to the other side so that uh, the BOP can be balanced. Here we can see there is shown same amount of negative official reserves entry, which is done by the central bank to ensure the equilibrium. Now, uh, we can clarify this through another example. Okay, let's move towards the example. Here I take the example, which is US balance of payments accounts for 2006, and all transactions are there in billion of dollars. Here we can see in the current account, there is a deficit and the balance is negative 811.5 billion US dollar. In the capital account, there is a negative balance, which is minus two point, oh, sorry, it, the rate is minus 3.9 billion US dollar. And the statistical discrepancy, which is the non-reserve portion of the financial account, it's negative and the balance is minus 17.8 billion US dollar. Now, to get the BOP balance, we know we have to sum up current account, capital account, and statistical discrepancy. If we do this, we find that the overall BOP balance is minus 833.2 billion US dollar, which is a deficit. So debit item is now needed to be balanced by an equal positive entry in the credit side. And we know that central bank alone can do this. So here we can see there is a positive sign in the official reserve means inflows of reserves which balance out the deficit in the BOP. We can see the reserve is plus 833.2. This balance balanced out the BOP deficit. Now, from the basics of official reserves, let's journey into why official reserve transactions matter. Well, we saw that official reserve transactions help to balance out the POP. It also helps to meet the international financial obligations. It also play a part in shaping a nation's long-term financial strategy or decision. By adjusting the composition of official reserve, countries can influence their monetary policies and ensure a sustainable economic trajectory. Okay, the another example, the another importance, which is very significant, we can say it, currency stability and exchange rate. Well, let's explore through it. Official reserve transaction play a key role in stabilizing a country's currency. For example, when a country's currency becomes too strong in the international market, the central bank might sell some of its foreign currency reserves. These actions help in balancing the demand and supply for the country's currency, preventing it from becoming excessively strong. Similarly, if a currency is depreciating rapidly, the central bank might buy foreign currency reserves stabilizing the currency's value and preventing a free fall. All right, viewers, let's see how well you have observed the crucial concepts we have explored today. Stay with us for a thrilling wrap up to our discussion with the short quiz sections. I encourage you to explore the quiz sections 
and give it a try by answering the questions. Here goes the quizzes. Well, we can see the first question is, how does a trade surplus impact official reserves? Here are the four options. Please pick a correct one. Well, now move to the second questions. If a country experiences a trade deficit of 10 billion US dollar and an inflow of capital of 7 billion US dollar, what will be the net effect on its official reserves? We can see the four options. Please make a correct choice. Now let's move to the next quiz, which is what purpose do special drawing rights as GRs serve in a country's official reserves? So please pick a correct one. Now, thank you for participating in our interactive questions. Uh, so please match your answers with the correct responses provided into the slide. Now, here is the answers. I hope you enjoyed testing your knowledge. Well, viewers, this is the video today from me. So if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and drop your thoughts in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. So stay curious and keep exploring the world of finance with us. Thank you. Thank you.